Good morning, M. Murray's readers, elitists. This is Arthur Roy Murray for Books for the Inquisitive Mind. Today's book is Commitment Redemption Duet One. Interesting. It's supposedly a romance. It is, in a way, a romance. Uh, Drew and Brooke Brooklyn, what a name, a lovely name, but Brooke, young lady, uh, of 16, she falls in love with Drew. It's her best friend's brother. There's taboos going on here, of course. She's 16, he's 18, and it explodes into her promise. He promised her something. And the promise was broken. In any case, this is more a commitment book going back and forth, Drew, Brooklyn, over the years. After that promise, 10 years later, they're, they're getting going to get back together. They're not going to get back together. It goes on and on. Everybody in their little circle has an opinion of what they did, but nobody gets to the truth. You want to hit each one of them over the head. You're so wrapped. When are they going to get together? Are they going to get together? It goes on for chapter after chapter after chapter. You think they're going to get together, not going to get together. To me, this is not a romance. This is a relationship problem book where neither one can come to the truth and mention the truth, say the truth. Nobody in the family will tell them the truth. And so it just goes on and on and on. And the only thing that the author does is she does. She does an excellent job of writing and the reason for this, the reason for that, but a lot of it, I call it BS. People, if they're in love, they should get down to it, say what it is, what the problems are, get through it, get to the end. The author takes you and pulls you right through. She wants you to read book two. Well, I'm not going to read book two because I don't want to be frustrated after every single chapter. See you later, alligator. Bye.